Good morning. It's Mr. Bailey here. Oh, hello, kids. It's Good Friday. Isn't that good? Yeah. Now, listen. Good's an interesting word, isn't it? Why we call it Good Friday? That's interesting. Now, I, I went on to Google, right? Because when you're in isolation, there's not much to do except Google stuff. So I went on to Google and I Googled good. And I found all these websites that, um, sorry, I don't think I'm working. Thank you. Um, found all these websites that had these lists called like 10 good things in the world. Now I'm going to show you some pictures. I'm going to talk about them a little bit. And as I do, I want you to tell me if they're good. If you think they're good. Ready? Let's have the first one. First one is access to drinking water. Is that good? Your enthusiasm this morning is rather limited. <laughs> if I think it's good, then I say good. good. Hey, yeah, being able to have drinking water that we can drink that is safe, that is a good thing, yes? All right, what's, what's another one? Oh, so this one is called scientific research, which is like using science and technology to learn about medicines and new technology that helps us to live our lives better. Do you think this is a good thing? Yeah. This is a good thing? Good. Next thing. Education. Isn't learning how to do stuff good? Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of head shakes down here. <laughs> they're, they're enjoying their holidays. That's great. Okay, what, what else we got there? Oh, this is this one. Man, I couldn't live without this one. Access to the internet. Yeah. Isn't that a good thing? Oh, good on you, Levi. Thank you. All right, one more, one more. Chocolate. Yeah. Definitely a good thing. I will admit, chocolate was not actually on any of the lists. I added that one myself um, because I love chocolate. Now, those are all good things, but let's, let's have a think now about Good Friday and the story with Good Friday. Now, Ben's going to bring us a reading from Matthew in a moment. And there are some things that happen in this where Jesus, he has just been beaten up and he's had a crown of thorns stuck on his head and he has to carry a cross up a hill. Is this a good thing? Is that good? No, that'd be pretty awful. Then as he's going, he can't quite carry that cross up and so the soldiers, they say, Oi, you, you come and help him. They force this other man to help him carry it up. Is that good? Is, he, is this good, being, being forced to help out? No, that's not good. He gets up to the top of the hill and they nail him to the cross. And they stand the cross up and he's hanging there. Is that good? That's not real good, is it? That's pretty awful. The people standing around, they're yelling at him. They're saying nasty things to him. They're hurling insults. And is that good? No, that's not good. That's not good. We had a few not good things. And you know what? All of his friends and disciples are probably looking going, this isn't good. And then something happens. Jesus dies. Now, this is all, wow, silence then, that was amazing. Jesus died. Now, this has all been pretty gloomy, lots of not good things. But the good thing and what makes Good Friday good is that all these not good things happen because Jesus loves you. He went through all this because he knows that we've got a problem and that problem is sin. And sin is the attitude and action that says, I am God and God is not. We are not right with God because of it. And so Jesus dies to make us good with God. So as you go through Good Friday today, and when you look at good things that you think, oh, this is really good, just remember, oh, Jesus has died. Like chocolate, especially chocolate, Jesus has died to make us good with God again. Cool? Cool. I'm going to pray and then I'm going to give you some instructions, okay? So let's pray for us. Hey God, we thank you so much for this Good Friday. Thank you for the not good things that Jesus went through for us that he could make us good with you again. Help us to live lives that honour that. In his name we pray, Amen.